my name is Jessica. I work as a youth programmer at the Roosevelt Thompson branch of the Central Arkansas Library System. And I'm here today to just share a little bit of story time with anybody who may be stuck at home and needs something to do. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some counting and some colors. The first book that I'd like to read with you is called The Great Train by Donald Cruz. I bet a lot of you have read this book before. It goes through a lot of cool colors. See if you can name them with me. The Freight Train by Donald Cruz. Read with the permission of HarperCollins Publishing Group. Okay. Are your eyes ready? Are your ears ready? Is your voice quiet? train runs across this track. Red caboose at the back. Orange tank car next. Yellow hopper car. Green cattle car. Blue gondola car. And purple box car. A black tender and a black steam train moving going through tunnels have you ever been in a tunnel before it's going through tunnels crossing trestles that's what these are trestles moving in darkness moving in daylight going <laughs> this is a fun book for practicing your colors. Let's practice our colors. Should we name all of the different colors on this page? Let's start over here. What color is this? Red. What color is this? Orange. How about this one? Yellow. And next we have green. What's next? Blue, that's right. And then purple. And last we have black. I wonder how many that is. Let's count the cars in the train. See how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, eight cars on that freight train. The end. Hmm? Do you like trains? I think they're cool. If you get too close, they're so loud though. It's not good to get close to a train because they're very big and very fast. Before we jump into our next book, let's sing a couple songs. You guys wanna sing a couple songs? Yeah, let's do some songs. I'll get out my handy dandy song sticks. Um, normally, I could get to choose our song at this point, but today, I'll choose. Let's see, what are we gonna get? Let's see. I had a turtle who lived in a box. Do you guys know this one? I like this one a lot. And I actually have a friend who can help me sing this song. I happen to have here Tiny Tim himself. This Tiny Tim. He's my turtle. He helps me with turtle songs. Thank you so much for coming today. Are you ready? Okay, we're ready. Are you ready? Awesome. Here we go. I had a little turtle, he lived in a box. He swam in the puddles and he climbed on the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito, he snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. He caught 
the mosquito, he caught the flea, he caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. <laughs> Thank you, Tiny Tim. Let's give Tiny Tim a hand. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Let's sing another song. I want to sing another one. Let's see. What else have we got over here? Let's draw another stick. hands, ten little fingers. Dos manitas, diez deditos. Hmm, I love this song. And I know this one in English, y en español. So, we will sing it in both. For this song, you're gonna need to get your hands out. Do you have, your, are your hands ready? Are they ready? All your fingers and all your hands. Let's shake them. Skinny wiggles out. Okay, are you ready to put your fingers to work? Mm -hmm. This is a song about two hands and ten fingers, and we're gonna count them all. So you guys help me, okay? Get your fingers ready. You ready? Here we go. Two little hands, ten little fingers, two little hands, ten little fingers, two little hands, ten little fingers, count them all with me. One, two, three little fingers, four, five, six little fingers, seven, eight, nine little fingers, and one more makes ten. Ten little fingers. Dos manitas, diez deditos, dos manitas, diez deditos, dos manitas, diez deditos, cuéntenlos conmigo. Uno, dos, tres deditos, cuatro, cinco, seis deditos, siete, ocho, nueve deditos, y uno más son diez. And then give them a good wiggle, just for good measure. <laughs> good job! You guys were good at that. Let's read one more book. Because that's why we're here, right? We're going to do some story time. Let's read another book. <clears throat> the next book I have to share with you is mostly about colors. And this one is really funny. It has a funny little hippo in it. This book is called One Red Sock by Jennifer Sadler. Read with the permission of the author, Jennifer Sadler. One Red Sock. in a big pink chair in a room full of dogs sat a purple hippo wearing one red sock. It looks funny this way. It just will not do. So she put on another sock. This one was blue. I have to be fashionable or I cannot be seen. So she put on another sock. This one was, can you guess? This one was green. Wow. She stuck out her chin. This won't ruin my day. So she put on another sock. This one was gray. This is driving me crazy. This just isn't right. So she put on another sock. This one was white. <laughs> oh, she's starting to look frustrated, huh? She was losing her patience. She told herself, think. So she put on another sock. This one pink. Oh no. <laughs> she doesn't look very happy, does she? 
Well, I hope this one works. It's the last one I've got. And she pulled on a sock with polka dots. Well, it's not perfect and it's definitely not red, but at least it matches my room, she said. So she tottered off happy, though her socks weren't a pair. And the other red sock, it had always been there. You see it? Where did she lose it? It's in the chair, wasn't it? She was sitting on it. <laughs> the end. I love this book. She's so funny. You know why? Should we sing one more song before we finish? Let's do one more song. Let's see. What have we got in here? Let's do... Let's do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Everybody loves the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Because I also happen to have a friend who can help us out with that. Not quite itsy bitsy, but it's definitely a spider. You ready? Okay, she's coming. She's coming. This is Henrietta, and she helps me when we sing a song. <laughs> Hello, Henrietta. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your help. We're going to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Are you ready? Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> the great big tarantula went up the garden wall. Down came the rain and made the tarantula fall. Oh no! Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big tarantula went up the wall again. Itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Thank you, Henrietta. Ah, oh, hand for Henrietta. She's so great. Thank you so much for your help today. And I think that is probably a good place to end. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had fun. I hope you had a good time uh, listening to these books. And one last time, if you would like to get either of those books, the first one we read was A Freight Train by Donald Cruz. The second, oh, and this one was read with permission by HarperCollins Children's Books. The second was One Red Sock by Jennifer Sattler. And this was read with permission from the author. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Stay home. Stay safe. Wash your hands. See you next time.